So real quick, before I start the video, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm using my LG V10, my smartphone that also has a, a, a pretty nice camera, pretty decent camera. It has a lot of functionality built in the software. I'll make like a whole video on it some other time, but I've been doing sample videos and I've been trying to do more sample videos. And this, I'm just going to go ahead and say, don't consider this a sample video. I mean, it'll show you what crappy lighting looks like. So there you go. If you have crappy lighting like this, hey, this is a good test of what it is. If you want to see something with good lighting or something with more like natural lighting in which the camera does a lot better with, this is not what you want to watch. Now, this is uh, hopefully going up tomorrow. So today, whenever you're seeing this, this will be the 31st of December, the very last day of 2015. And this is going to be a look at my 2015 setup. Uh, this will be more vlog type video, like I said, instead of being like super awesome, high quality, uh, I may mess with the settings a little bit, like here, look, I'll, I'll dial back the ISO so you can actually see my, my my desktop screen a little bit. Whoa, look at that. You can see my monitor so much better now. You can actually make out some of the details. Crazy, I know. Now I'm going to turn up the ISO so you can actually see things in the room. <laughs> okay, so I guess first thing I should start off with is my fantastic little Blue Yeti right here. Uh, I say fantastic very loosely. It is nice. It's not super awesome amazing, but it's not bad, certainly. This is what I use every day for my headphones in, as you can probably tell right there. That's the cord going to my headphones. And then if we want to take a look at my actual headphones, right there we have the Audio Technica. I believe these are M50s here. Tell you what, it says it right here. It says it right there. Can we actually get some light? I, I said I'd make this vlog type, and I will. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with the lighting too much because this isn't supposed to be like amazing shots video, even though I am kind of tempted to get something to make, you know, to make it look decent. There we go, headphone monitors. Yeah, you can't see it, the light's gonna be blocked, whatever. Um, here's an amp I have as well that I'll use sometimes. I don't use it always since it is um see it's portable this is awesome right super cool you can take it on the move just go with it but that means you have to charge it which sucks charging sucks i really don't like that which like my mouse for example can be wireless i don't like charging so i don't ever make it like that i normally don't actually use a mouse pad i i found it in my closet <laughs> while i was cleaning up the other day and so i just decided to throw it on there and see if i want to go to a mouse pad like a decent one instead of this that's like falling apart. I got this for free, which was pretty nice. Shout out to Cinti. If you guys want free mouse pads, maybe they'll give you one or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, here's my keyboard. Now this thing, I adore Royal Kludge. RC930, I believe. Expect me talking about that sometime eventually. Monitors, monitors. These things are awesome. Look at the bezels on these things. I absolutely adore them. They are so nice. I really want to make a proper video on them because I just, I love the way they look. They're nice. IPS, very good colors, only 1080. Oh, well, whatever. What are you going to do? They do have a slim bezel 1440p monitor though, which is kind of interesting. If they make a 4K slim bezel, I would perhaps consider picking one of those up. But yeah, there they are. The stands are really nice. I actually had them on an arm mount before and I decided I like the stock stand so much that I was going to stick with them. Some people just automatically think that buying aftermarket makes it cooler. I'm not one of those people. Um, I was at one point rocking the aftermarket stuff, but I have, again, since gone back to the stock. Uh, here's my desk. Now, big reason why I'm showing this off is to hopefully I'll make a early 2016 video showing off a new desk and a whole new setup and you'll be like, wow, that's so much better. Uh, oh, also I have like a bunch of miscellaneous items inside of that little drawer right there. Here, I have a lot more miscellaneous items, such as these. You may be like, what the hell is that? Why would you even have that right there? This is a light for lighting. <laughs> so maybe I'll actually use these in conjunction with each other. Instead of having this weird like orange glow light, I have a, I have a white light, you know? It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's obviously it's pretty rigged up. It's pretty jank. Uh, seeing as it's like a little like cheap flashlight look at that thing like it's just a weird little flashlight that I put wax paper over to be sort of a filter and then right there you can see that's a part going on my desk eventually 
and uh, 360 controller, gamepad, whatever. Uh, let me reset the flashlight. Okay, so we are going flashlightless. Um, you know what? Actually, I can, I can totally bring out the flashlight. Here's my chair. Nothing special. I'll maybe I'll pick up like a cool racing chair, <laughs> gaming chair, air quote. Um, phone charger, nothing too fancy. Again, all this I do plan on cleaning up the cords. I just the only thing I've really done before now is picked up trash. <laughs> I have not organized anything for this. Actually, before I go to that, I'm gonna I'm gonna show off the stand. The stand is fantastic. If you end up Again, I have a, a video just on my microphone, but if you do end up wanting to get one of these microphones, first off, check out that video. But secondly, consider a stand. They're very nice. Not just in terms of looks. I don't actually really like the look that much, but uh, features. Incredibly featureful. Okay, so this bad boy right here, if you can see it. Oh God, I am blinding myself. Okay. Ooh, he is dirty. Maybe I should wipe it down, or I could just not shine lights on it. So this thing right here, four knobs, as you can see. Uh, it's under my desk, so it's really dusty. Not dirty, it's not like literal dirt is there. And as you can see, ten little inputs right there. And it's a mixer, or a splitter, if you want to split. I use it as a mixer, though, so that way I can have my microphone audio. Um, I should be good to not use the flashlight anymore. Microphone audio. Um, computer audio, and I also have my, um, my mic. All those, just in conjunction, I can use those with recording setup, whereas I cannot without that thing. I mean, I can plug in something into my computer, but I can't, it's very complicated. I, <laughs> again, Yeti video, check out Yeti video. I'll probably make a video on that, actually show that off um okay so now next up on the list nothing too crazy over here a phone a router candle and a 316 controller here's an xbox one controller and game uh borrowing this from mark thank you mark and i'm also borrowing sunset overdrive so hopefully some videos on that have come out or will be out soon uh right here i have two consoles right there a wii and a PS2, let me turn up the ISO a little, uh, miscellaneous, folders, papers, etc. Some important things, some not very important things. I'll probably have the both of those separated once I get my desk actually put how I want it to be. Let me turn down the ISO a little bit. Okay, so right here, two GameCube games, a GameCube controller, again, a little dirty. Actually, those are chips. That isn't dirty. Like, that's paint, the absence of paint. 360, that was previously up there. Um, all these will be moved somewhere, and that's the original Xbox. I do not use the original Xbox, really, um, but the 360 is there, and I do use that on occasion. Uh, right here, just a brick, and that is a little Yu-Gi-Oh tin that holds my memory cards for a lot of my stuff. Here's a crappy, absolutely horrible chair. Don't use it. I uh, only have it there to have it there, really. I, I don't even know why I have it here. No one uses it, so I should probably move it. Um, I guess I'll do a little pan real quick. So you can get a feel for the area. As you can hear, I'm bumping into stuff. All right. Do a little pan. Here we are. As you can see, yep, you can tell. It's not a huge room, but it's it's really not small. It's not tiny. And then, boom, there's a bed. Yeah, pink and purple. I know, very funny, right? No, not really. I mean, I don't really... <laughs> I'm not too picky about blankets. I don't really care. Um, that stuff... That's just like random papers and cords. I'm not gonna worry about that. That is a like a TV we had no use for. It's a 720. It's bigger than my monitor, and I definitely don't like using it um, whenever I'm near it. But I mean, if I'm sitting all the way back there, whatever, dude, it's fine. And then I kind of want to get a little like view underneath. Look like I'm turning up the ISO, as you can probably tell, because I want to give you a little peek. That, that that is a PlayStation 3, a controller, and um, a little box there that splits the image. Some people have, uh, it's rumored that it removes HDCP, but I can't comment on that, because obviously I've never messed with that. Wink, wink. <laughs> Purely for gameplay, of course. 
Um, and then in here, oh, yeah, let me move this. I have three drawers under here. I only opened up one because there's not really anything I want to show off in them. I just figured I should show that they do exist, and I'll show off this one. This right here, I actually have cassettes, two of them, and they are made by, uh, they were made whenever um, CDs were still popular. In fact, digital is very much the way to go. Those are all uh, made within the past few years. Um, uh, here's a few PS3 games I have. I have some other games laying around. There's some like anime crap. I don't really hardly ever watch any of that stuff. It's just mostly sitting there. And this is going to be too difficult to move with just one hand, so I'm just going to leave it for now. So yeah, there's that. Again, we'll, we'll pan the picture a little bit. Get an idea of what all's going on right here. Just a little entertainment stand. And then this right here, travel bag, okay? Travel bag has a, ooh, probably shouldn't tilt it like that. Keyboard, mouse, and miscellaneous stuff. Stuff that I want to bring somewhere. Stuff I think I might need somewhere. That is Mark's bag right there. I won't comment on that. It's Fault 11, 111, excuse me, kind of cool. This right here is a trash can that's flipped up upside down for some reason. Should probably flip it over. Um, but no, this right here, um, I make white noise. Everybody always is like, what the hell is back here, dude? It's just a fan with pillows. Maybe not the the best thing for energy consumption, but it makes noise, not a ton, because I would go crazy if I had no white noise in here. And then I guess this is the, the most odd looking thing here. That's just, uh, let me turn up the ISO. As you can see, it has pedals and has a little screen. What could that be? Exercise. So I have it in my room. For one, it would just sit in the garage if I didn't have it in my room. So that would be unfortunate. I wouldn't get to use it much. And two, um, <laughs> if you're ever feeling not motivated, try putting something that you need to do in front of where you are all the time and where you wake up to and sleep next to. You'll probably get around to doing it eventually, which is what I have found. So if any of you are having issues exercising on a on a decent basis a consistent basis a daily basis on any basis put it in your room dude <laughs> it'll it'll help so i think that's probably pretty much all i'm not going to show off the closet because it's just it's horrible in there it really is and that's I'm, I'm doing a room tour and a setup thing but i really just want to highlight the setup is the biggest point of this because I hope on improving my setup. So I'm just gonna go back through everything real quick, turn up the ISO a little bit. I could do those, could use those lights, but eh, whatever. Um, so consoles over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, very fancy, I know, right? More consoles, router stuff. Oh, my modem's under there as well. I guess I didn't show that off. Cable cluster, a plenty, very nasty. I know, I know. I. I do cable manage. I did used to have my cables managed, and then I, I took my computer somewhere, and I said, screw it. I'm not hooking it back up. I need a better way to set it up. And that's why I'm upgrading desks and setups in general. So look out for that video, the uh, improved setup video, rather. Look out for that coming hopefully very soon. Uh, I mean, as soon as I'm able to get it up, I will. And... Yeah, here's the setup. Uh, I'll put stuff that I can think of in the description, or things that I think people ask, like both of my monitors I'll put up. Um, I'll put up the Yeti, I'll put up the stand, I'll put up the mouse and keyboard. Um, the mouse is a Naga Epic. Both of the uh, monitors are the same. Slim bezel, 24 inch, 1080p, blah, 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 whatever. Dell monitors. They're both pretty nice. I mean, I already talked about all that. Yeah, I'll just put it all up in the description. And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Again, the light's not super amazing in here. It's a little too warm for me. Uh, but, you know what? Not really a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, unless I want to, like, manually adjust it like this, you know? But then it, then it gets too cold. Look at that. Look at how cold that is. Look at how warm that is. That is incredibly over the top 
And see, I, I could change it a little, but it doesn't do a... It, it does a little, but it doesn't do crazy awesome. See, like, this is a little better. Man, actually, this is, this is a lot better. I should have done this earlier. Well, oh well, that's the end. <laughs> Alright, bye!